Thursday. It's Thursday morning. I'm gonna try to do this. So these are the mornings I wake up. I wake up early, earlier. I guess I don't really wake up earlier. Wake up at the same time, but I come out early and do chores. Um, Cause I have a 7.15 meeting. So I get up, work out, come out, get chores knocked out, and then uh, you know go in, shower, get, get dressed, and um, on Zoom by 7.15. So um, I usually, I try to cruise through chores on Thursday, so, and it's dark, so I, I don't even know if this is gonna work, so. Um, it's me by myself, Thursday morning. I have to work out first thing in the morning. If I don't, it's just, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's also an amazing feeling of accomplishment, right? I'm already checked that thing off my list. So, uh, workout done, let's go do chores, and uh, on with our day. talking about this mess in here and it's, it drives me absolutely nuts every time I come in here. You're just going to continue to hear me complain about it and do nothing about it. One of, one of these days, this is going to be a Saturday Saturday job. Natalie finished up the, the hide yesterday. It looks great. I'll uh, show you guys here in a sec. So we're at 24 pounds for, for pig feed now. I do have a scale over here. If it wasn't such a mess, I'd bring you in here and show you. And we do, yes, we feed our, barn cats. We brought barn cats back. I think I talked about that. And she just had more kitties. So we're part of the problem there. But we have had zero mice in here. No mice. It's been amazing. So I love having the barn cats in the garage. Oh, here's that hide. Here's the... Now we cut it up. It's coming along. I mean, it's. I think it's pretty much done. Look at that thing. So she cut. She trimmed it up. It's a good-looking hide. That was Shimmer's hide. Those are beef. She's about 99% done with that thing, so pretty cool. Never done that before. Natalie did, that was all Natalie. I had nothing to do with that. It was all her. And we learned all that from videos, YouTube. Abundance Plus, Justin Rhodes. It wasn't Justin, it was one of his masterclass people. So on Thursday mornings when I'm out here by myself, I get bring my phone, get my audio, my audio book time in. Alright. I didn't bring you guys with me for the pigs and the chickens. I'm running behind here. Mary's up here mooing, which makes me nervous. I don't like that she's mooing. I feel like this happened last time. This lighting. I think it's been five weeks. So I'm wondering, It worked. Then she miscarried or something. She's been up here mooing away though. I don't like it. It's really, we don't even really want to make that decision. Such a good cow. I mean, out of all these animals that we raised, she's, she's like a true blue pet. Don't know, don't know what we're gonna do. Okay. Man, it rained hard. It's a muddy mess in here again.
Come on, Mary. Mary, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get him, go. Get. Get. All right, come on, Mary. Definitely don't like. So brush, we'll brush her down. If she's a mess, sometimes she lays in her poop. Spit over, mate. Spit over. Or just mud, dirt, things like that. I'll spray her down with the hose out there just to get all the big stuff off. She's not horrible, so wipe her down or brush her down, soap her down, rinse her off. So I have these couple of old water bottles fill that with water we bring soapy water from the house hot soapy water then once I'm done here I will wash my hands so that I'm nice and clean and then rinse um, yeah she's mooing being a little crazy June bug is being very lovey and attached to Mary makes me a little concerned. Uh, I hope it's just nothing, just a hormonal day. We can't, like I said, Mary, Mary is pretty much our pet. Last thing in the world I wanna do is thinking about selling her or Calling her, putting her down, then you run into, you know, what do you do? What do you do with her? You don't want to waste, you don't want to waste her. Do you bury her? She's a pet. Milk cows, I believe, you know, they're not, they're not like a beef. You don't want to butcher them up and have steaks or anything like that, but I think, I think they're perfectly fine for ground. I mean, you can pretty much ground the whole cow. seems like a waste to, to not do that. You know, again, you saw the hide, we, we could tan her hide. I don't know, it's just hard to, hard to talk about with her. She's our girl, she's my girl. I've been milking her for, oh my gosh, three years? I think we got her three years ago. Every day. Rain, sun, shine, blizzard, monsoon, it doesn't matter. You gotta get out here same time, within an hour, every day, get them melt. So it's hard, you know, you've been through a lot with an animal like that. She's given us so much. She's given us three beefs. I can't even count, I should, I'm gonna put numbers to milk. Run a cost, cost analysis on what it costs to, to buy her to raise her, you know, feed her and all that stuff compared to how much milk and cheese and beef she's given us. All right, a quick wash for me. I'll rinse her down, rinse me down, dry her off, and then throw you guys on a time lapse because that's pretty boring just watching me milk a cow. Plus, I want to get my audio in. It's my audible time <laughs> once a week. So what am I reading? I will tell you here in a minute. I read it before, this is the third time I've read the book. I'll butcher his name. <coughs> yeah, see Junebug's over here. She's very interested in Mary, which she never is, so I, I don't know if she's <coughs> releasing hormones or what's going on. Making me nervous, Mary. You're making me nervous. The book, I just, I just restarted it. I can't remember the name of it. Read this a couple years ago, twice. Millionaire Success Habits, that's what it is. Dean Graziosi, Graziosi, Graziosi. Millionaire Success Habits, great, there's great stuff in there. Really, really, really interesting stuff. 
I'm a book nerd, so uh, if you stick with me, I'll have plenty of... You want to read a really good book, Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins? Oh my gosh. You ever feel sorry for yourself? Read that book. <laughs> It'll give you every excuse in the world not to feel sorry for yourself. That dude's been through it. That's an amazing book, Can't Hurt Me. Um, I'll stop there, I'll give you two right now. But, so, Millionaire Success Habits, I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse, start milking, and uh, see you guys next time. Thursday morning done, it's beautiful. Sun's up. Rained a ton last night. So it's uh, wet, humid. It's a muddy mess, but hey, I got mud all over my. Boots. It's gonna be a good day. Running a little behind, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. 6.45. So I've got <laughs> 30 minutes to run in. Natalie's great, she'll process the milk, so I don't have to do that. Uh, She's amazing, she'll get my coffee made. and So I gotta run in, jump in the shower, get dressed. I can do that in 30 minutes. All right, so my, uh, my tip, trick, my golden nugget. So that's my goal, I wanna try to give you guys a nugget every day if I can. Today it's the book, Millionaire Success Habits. Just got done listening to that. I, you know, I was milking for 20 minutes or whatever. Um, good stuff in there, there's some great stuff, great stuff. Look, all those books are the same, for the most part. Uh, you know, the original, the original self-help book is the Bible, so you can always go back to the Bible. Everything you hear and read, it's all been done and said before, right? It's just some, some form of... Um, I always wipe this down because we set it on the, on the counter. Just get all the mud off. There you go. Mil Millionaire Success Habits, Dean... I, I can't even say his name. No, not Dean. Jeez Louise. Is it Dean? Yeah, Dean. Dean Garziosi. Garziosi. I'd never heard of this guy before, and then I, um, I saw a YouTube on him. He was talking about the seven, seven or eight levels deep of your, of your why, which is great. I, I loved it. And he talks a lot about that in the book. All right, I gotta go. I'm late. Hope you guys have an amazing day. See you next time.